raised to, to be a responsible person. And I let my family down by not being a responsible person at night. He's spending his first night in jail. What's next for former TV news anchor Tolly Carr? He faced thousands of Piedmont Morning News viewers every day. Tonight, he's facing some serious prison time. If anybody should have died, it should have been me. But I'm here. And I don't know how I survived, why it wasn't me, but I'm here. And I'm going to go in the jail, and I'm just going to be there. Good evening. How quickly life can change. He had a good job and a promising future, but tonight, a little more than a month after police say his truck ran over and killed a man in Winston-Salem, TV News anchor Tolly Carr is sitting in a Forsyth County jail cell. He turned himself in this afternoon after learning prosecutors plan to file felony charges against him in the crash that killed Casey Bachoven. Carr is also facing a driving while impaired ch charge. Carr says he's taking full responsibility for what happened and he won't post his $100,000 bond, which means he'll stay in jail at least for the time being. Well, a conviction would mean Tolly Carr's punishment could range anywhere from probation to five years in prison. The district attorney's office says it filed the highest two charges it could for this case. One is felony death by motor vehicle. That's a class E felony with a maximum sentence of 31 months in prison or a little more than two and a half years. The second charge, felony serious injury by vehicle. That's a class F felony that has a maximum sentence of 20 months in prison, just short of two years. Carr has no prior criminal history, so a judge could sentence him to just probation. The DA's office is still not releasing Carr's blood alcohol level the morning of the crash, saying it could affect his chances of getting a fair trial. Well, Fox 8's Chad Tucker is live at the Forsyth County Jail, where Carr is spending tonight. And Chad spoke with the brother of Casey Bachoven today by, by phone to get his reaction to the developments. And what did he have to say today, Chad? Well, Casey Bachoven's brother, Sean, says he's pleased with today's charges, saying it's one step closer to putting this ordeal behind him and his family. He just hopes that justice will be served. Every day since that Saturday, I've thought about the trip down that road. A trip that has landed Tolly Carr in jail, charged with felony death by vehicle and the death of 26-year-old Casey Bachoven and felony serious injury by vehicle for the injuries his passenger suffered. It was my irresponsibility that played a role in that, and, and it's something that I know better. I know better. For the first time publicly, Tolly Carr said he was sorry to the Bachoven family as he prepared to enter the Forsyth County Jail with his lawyer, mother, and stepfather, and best friend by his side. And he's gone. Casey is gone. And I didn't mean for that to happen, and I'm sorry. I just ask that everyone pray for, for the Bachovens because they're going to need a power greater than themselves to get through this. After Tolly's tearful apology, Casey Bachoven's brother, Sean, told us it's a more positive statement than from the church statement. I hope he is sincere. Sean is referring to Tolly's comments he made in March to his church, where he did not apologize and asked the congregation for emotional and financial support. I am in a situation now where I need love, I need support. We need money, we need everything, because this is a tough battle that I have to fight. We're so sorry what happened. We're proud of Tolly. We love him. Tolly's mother says she's had teams of people praying for the Bachoven family. And I know there are a lot of hurting mothers out there. And we're just going to be praying for all the mothers' world that have to go through what we have to go through. In the end, we need, you know, we need to have some kind of closure for the family as well as for Tolly's family. So I just ask that everybody continue to pray for Tolly's family. The DA's office plans to send this case to a grand jury as quickly as possible. Carr's next court date is May the 11th. Live in Winston-Salem tonight, Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News. And you can watch Tolly Carr's entire statement just before he turned himself in today. Just log on to our homepage at myfoxwghp.com.